Hi, comic book uh, community, comic book collectors. Uh, today, I just got off work and I just saw on my phone, my, um, my messages on Facebook. There's an event going on, there's a sale and uh, it's right in my area. And yeah, let's just get right to it.
Hi there, comic book collectors and uh, comic book community. If you've gotten this far into my video, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and taking your time to uh, just click on my video. It means a lot to me. It means more than you, what you think. And uh, yeah, just uh, I would love it if you subscribe, leave a like, hit the thumbs up. Um, it will show me that you know you want to see more content, and uh, I'll sh I'll bring you around my uh, local area um, local comic stores thrift shops and you know i have so much for uh for the future for uh, planning for uh, the content of the uh, channel so yeah let's just get right to the books and you know as you saw in the beginning there was a, a lot of of a sale for like a hundred books for 75 dollars so yeah let's just get right to it so first off what we have here is uh justice league dark number one this is volume two uh, what I know about this book is uh, Wonder Woman, there's Swamp Thing, uh, there's that chimp, I forgot his actual name, uh, Man Bat, and then there's uh, Zatanna. And uh, this is volume two, uh, John Constantine, I think he left at this moment. Uh, I hope that the MCU with James Gunn in the future, they bring this kind of team, because it's it's the darker Justice uh, Justice League. It's It means way more, because I've seen this and... Uh, you know, as a kid growing up, I thought this was really cool. Uh, they do way more, like, gruesome work and, like, darker stuff, obviously. But, yeah, that's my first book of the haul from the sale. Uh, second one, what I have here is The Avengers, The Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Um, number seven. I forgot, but this is, like, a Ghost Rider from the 1,000 one or 1 million BC of a Ghost Rider or some sort. I'll put like the key significance on the side of the corner here just for you to see and to know the books. Because in the future, if you go to the store or just anywhere in your local area and you find a comic book or comic books in general, you know, uh, I hope that my video helps you find the key books that you want to. Because it's really good to find these key books for a dollar or even less, you know. So once you hit those uh, dollar, bin, dollar bins, that's when you actually hit the good jackpot. But yeah, third book, um, Action Comics 1038. Yeah, look at that. Superman, Clark Kent. He's like a, a barbar uh, barbarian. This is a variant cover. Looks pretty cool. I think I should, I should have gotten the uh, original cover too, but yeah. I just thought this cover would be cool. Better than the original. This is a variant cover, uh, number 39 of the Avengers nullified variant that's pretty cool with a stamp right there my next one earth's mighty hero uh mightiest heroes number 40 after the first one i just showed before and uh, i got this book uh, teenage mutant ninja turtles number eight featuring uh cerebus i think it's her first appearance of her it's pretty, it's not the best condition, but, you know, what can I do? It's pretty cool for the deal. King uh, in Black. This is uh, the first issue of uh, the story of Noel himself. He's, uh, apparently he's heating up in the comic book community. Yeah, this is the second printing, and uh, we don't. I don't know much about Noel, but I know that he's uh, what, the uh, main creator of uh, the symbiotes, like uh, Venom. But I feel like he might be like a future Thanos that brings a lot of, a lot of love and hate towards this character, like how we provided for Thanos. But he seems kind of more darker. Uh, next one. Sorry, I'm just like mixing up DC and uh, Marvel books, but you know, just bear with me. So, G uh, Justice League number twenty-one. This is, uh, I think, the first appearance of uh, the Forger, right here. Justice League getting destroyed by him. Uh, number twenty-two of Justice League: Legion of Doom. I think this is the origin of uh, Perpetua. There are. Uh, the mother of the anti-monitor and the monitor and I forgot who the other one is. But yeah, it's pretty cool. This is a variant cover of uh, Justice League number 21. 
that John Stewart, Superman, Martian Man, Hunter, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Aquaman down there. And I found this book, Spider-Man Crossroads, uh, Symbiote, number, uh, issue number four. I thought it was pretty cool, because look at that. Looks like he's uh, Venom, all these other characters. This looks like it could have been a, a wonderful uh, poster for like a movie or some sort, you know, for Marvel. That's just my opinion. Uh, Wonder Woman, uh, number 54. Detective Comics, uh, number 988, variant cover. With Batman right there. Super cool. Even with the bat sign. We all know the bat sign and what that means. King the Conqueror, issue number one. Apparently this book is heating up. Because obviously King is coming onto the screen in the future. Um, with the Quantumanium, with uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Where they travel to the... The time zone. I don't know much about it. The quantum mania, whatever. Here's a, a version variant cover of uh, I think issue number one. I may be wrong, but it's pretty cool with King right there. It's like melting away that don't dude. Okay, and then here is uh, Justice League Incarnate number five. With Dark Side right there and his his son, I think that's uh, Orion. Super cool cover. Okay, I've got a, a ton of books to go through. Justice League Incarnate number three. Following. Oh, and another one. Yep, number five. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the Avengers, number uh, 10. Heroic 700th issue. That's pretty cool. And I got this book Young Squadron. Number one, look at that. I think that's Miles, uh, Miles Morales. There's like a ton of the young kids. Uh, somewhat of like a Nova kid. Looks like a Miss Marvel. Looks like a Falcon kid. But yeah, it's a super cool cover. It's a really good, good book. Looks very kid, kid friendly. But yep. Guardians of the Galaxy, number one. Green Lantern number four. The Cosmic Vampire's Beautiful Daughter. Who prevails when the Knight of Light meets the Queen of Night? Interesting book. Guardians of the Galaxy um, annual number one. Some of these books are not keys. They're just really good books that uh, have really good covers that I personally like and I personally favor. So don't mind that. Um, this is Guardians of the Galaxy, number one, with Groot as a variant cover. Look, it looks like uh, Groot got bigger, and he's more like a villain. Or just looks evil, I guess. Look at that, it even says Groot right there. That's so funny. Guardians of the Galaxy, variant edition number one. It's a nice cover. And Green Lantern, number five. Variant cover. Hopefully that is, uh, I mean, Hal Jordan. I don't even know who that is. It doesn't look like any of the originals that I know. A variant edition, uh, Giant Man, number one. Look at that. The whole crew of the Giant Man, or men. Return of the Valkyries, issue number one, variant cover of Jane Foster. The Mighty Valkyries, number one. Super cool. Return of the Valkyries, number one, variant edition. Oh, another cover. Return of the Valkyries. 
And here we have Green Lantern uh, number nine. I just thought it was cool because I feel like this Green Lantern, I forgot her name, Sorin or Saralyn something. I feel like she should be an important character in the future, but hopefully the producers do give her some sort of a light. Number nine, variant cover. Super cool. I love this. Look at all the Green Lanterns like, like in the background. Super cool. Justice League Dark, number 14. The cameo appearance of a, of a team that I forgot. And what I have here, my next, is number 15 afterwards. The full appearance of, uh, I think, of a team of a dark team. I forgot what they're called. King in Black, number five, variant edition. Um, I think in this issue, uh, this is the part where Noel is, I guess, considered dead or he gets killed. The end of his life, I guess you could say. But yeah, it's super cool with Venom right there. Killing, or he killed Noel. I don't know how strong this Noel character is, but I do hope they do bring him onto the screen. Hulk Vereen's issue number two. I have number one. It's super cool with uh, this new weapon. I think Weapon H. Uh, he was... I may be wrong. But this guy is a, is a combination of Wolverine and Hulk put together. I forgot who created him. But yeah. Seems pretty pretty overpowered. But we'll see how that issue goes. And what I have here is Tony Stark issue number one. This is, uh, I think this is the original cover, and I, as you'll see, I, I bought, like, I think multiple variants of this cover, which I did not know had variants, because uh, in the variant covers, it shows Tony Stark here uh, on the left bottom here, perfectly the same way he is, with the different designs of the armors that he has made in his life. So right there, see? Prototype armor. I think this is the very first prom armor that he made just like the tales of suspense i forgot what issue it was but yeah <clears throat> right here next one variant cover as well silver uh, centurion model seven yeah i i found these in the uh the bin for the sale for a hundred um wait a hundred books for 75 dollars and i just decided to just pick up every single variant cover that i found in this kind of issue <coughs> I thought it was really cool. Uh, this is a classic one. The red and gold armor. This is the one that we pretty much saw in like the movie number one and two, I think. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And right here, prototype War Machine armor. Super cool. And look at this one. Deep Space Armor. Oh yeah. Prometheum Armor. Look at that. Oop, there we go. Dark Crisis number one. I forgot what happens in this book, so I gotta read it. I felt like I should have bought all the issues, but I was kind of like... I guess you could say running out of time, but... We'll see if I do go back. Because their sale is still going on as I'm recording this. The Immortal Hulk number 25. I just thought this cover was really cool because it has uh, the Hulk right here, and he looks. It looks like he's like the actual meaning, or the he's the reason of a galaxy, or the meaning of life right here. Like the artist who made this was it Ewing, Garcia, Bennett, Jose, Jose O'Halloran, and Mounts. But yeah, issue number twenty-five. But, um, yeah, let's just end it right there. I do have a, uh, a few more other books that I would like to show you, but I don't want to make the video too long. And, uh, yeah, I do hope that you guys enjoyed my video. And uh, I, I will post my videos on the side, the bottom corners here somewhere. And uh, hopefully you guys subscribe with the corner right here somewhere. And uh, I hope you guys are having a great time looking out for comic books too. And you're... Uh, you're you're here on my video and you clicked on my videos because you want uh, to see more content. You want to see more comic books. 
and you know just let's uh let's share our ideas and uh let me know how you guys are doing uh what can i do better you know and uh let me know give me your opinions and thoughts uh, in the comments section below uh as you see me going through those long boxes what did i miss you know what should i have picked up you know it runs and non-keys and potential books that have actual profit in the future i don't know uh, i'm not really a flipper i'm not a reseller i just like to collect comic books i mean i just started for like ever since 2022 you know and i just started my channel recently three months ago so yeah just leave it on the side of the corner you know uh, subscribe right here uh comment down below and let me know how you guys are all right thank you so much guys peace out